So for the cover stitch, you're going to thread the chain looper. You're going to thread two or three of the three needle threads. And I've chosen to go with the leftmost and the rightmost and leave the middle one empty. So here those are. You could put three needles here, but I just did the two. And then your goal for the cover stitch is, although you're stitching on the front to hem it, your goal is to cover that raw edge of that flipped over fabric and look how nice it looks. And then on the front, you get that nice double line and it's stretchy, it stretches with the fabric. So you'll also wanna set your differential to two or 1.5, depending on the stretchiness of your fabric. If you had a woven fabric, you would just leave it at N. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna remove this pin. And you can see there are these two, well, there's actually five, but I'm looking at the leftmost and then the third one over notches to indicate where my needles are gonna hit down. And then I'm feeling right here where that raw edge is, even though I can't see it, I'm feeling for it. Okay. I'm just stitching over that. I'm trying to make sure that my leftmost needle just barely goes over that raw edge. Just barely to the left of that, and then my right needle is over here. So then when you flip it over, you get that nice covered hem. Love this machine. So I can do another video on in-depth threading for cover stitch and everything you need to do to change it over from overlock to cover stitch since this is a combo machine. But I just wanted to give you a quick rundown. All right, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.